Hi, Dr. Yerby here. In this video I'm going to be taking a, an exported VM machine and then downloading it onto a new computer and importing it and starting the machine up. So previously to this video I created a Windows 10 machine. I believe it was uh, this one here. Uh, no, it was this one. And then I exported the machine. So I went through um, here to export to an OVF. That file was saved here on uh, my hard drive um, right here. The VMDK file is here. Then I went ahead and zipped these folders into this zip folder that contains these three files. Uh, now that file is being hosted on some cloud hosting. And now I'm going to go to a separate computer. Go in and I have a link here. It'll be blurred out in the video, uh, so you'll have to rely on the link that, that I'll share with you in, in my LMS uh, to get to this website. Download the zipped file. So right now the file that I'm using is about 9 gigs. So it'll download. That'll take uh, some time depending on your uh, internet speed. So I'm going to uh, pause the video here for a second. Okay, so my download has finished. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure how long it took. I paused it for a few minutes. All right, so now I'm going to uh, take my zipped folder and I'll move it to the location where I saved my my um, virtual machines on this machine. Okay, so I'll extract it here. That'll take just a second for this to extract. Okay, so my a file has been downloaded and I've extracted it to the location where I want the virtual machine to live and so you'll see I have these three files the VMDK that's that's the actual hard disk of the the machine and the OVF or you may have gotten an OVA um, either way um, we should be able to use this file to save the configuration and hopefully open it so I've got VMware workstation uh, opened and I'm going to go to file open. I'm going to browse to the location where this OVF file is. Select it. And now what, what the VMware should be doing is it should be uh, checking for specifications and conformance. It'll ask me to uh, give it a name. So let's see if I can do something meaningful for me. Uh, it'll ask where do you want to save this. So my C drive is almost full, so I'm going to to move this again back over. Let's give it a, a different name so we can see the the imported machine um, will be a different file than the the file that I downloaded. So go ahead and select this, tell it to import, and this process will take a few minutes. Ah, we try to relax the specifications and compliance checks. Let's try this. So uh, the first attempt I had said it failed because it didn't meet the compliance checks. Um, so if you get that error, it, it's something with it's checking to see if the hardware that it came from, all the settings and hardware that it came from, um, do those meet the hardware and specs that they're going to. So I'm doing this on two different computers intentionally to try to predict what you may be seeing if someone has given you a an exported VM file. Uh, so another thing that I did in this VM is the, the RAM settings are, are fairly high, probably something higher than you might have on your machine. Uh, so what I want to test is when we export it out and then you import the OVF file, uh, does the specifications, does it allow you to adjust to meet your machine specs? So the intent is that it will. So I'm going to again pause it right here while it uh, goes through and uh, completes the import process. Okay, it looks like my machine has imported. Uh, it looks like it imported with all the same settings. I'm not sure how much RAM I have on this this physical machine. Let me check real quick. So I only have 16 uh, gigabits of RAM installed on this physical machine. Uh, the machine I created on had a lot more. Uh, so what I'm going to do before I even try to start it is I'm going to uh, go through to the settings and I'm going to change some of these settings to be compatible with what I actually have 
Um, so I'll say somewhere around five gigs. Uh, processors. Um, let's see. So I'm going again. I'm going to change this uh, to meet uh, what I have on this machine. That's fine because again, that's still uh, dynamically allocated, um, and everything else looks fine. So, but I did want to go through and change my RAM and processors. Okay, now that I've done that, I've imported everything, gone through the OBF file. Now the moment of truth to see if we can power this machine on. And then this is where you cross your fingers, wiggle your toes, hold your breath, wait for it. That's a good sign. This is a Windows 10 machine that we're trying to boot into. So at that point, it's just a matter of letting it come up and boot. All right, so I did not run sysprep before I set this machine up, so it's got some settings already saved in it. And so that is how you will uh, take an exported OVF or OVA file and import it into your VMware workstation uh, to move a virtual machine. And so if you're using this for my, one of my classes, uh, probably mobile forensics, this is exactly what you'll be doing for one of your assignments uh, and then you'll go through and set up any networking uh, requirements and uh, you'll have a functioning uh, virtual machine. Thank